and every human being on this planet. If you do not choose family, you are a sad and lonely person. I don't care who tells you anything different. So she's not a man and no man wants to be near her. So of course she's not gonna hear <laughs> men having this conversation. Try to make it woman independence or whatever, but the, it's the most anti-male, anti-patriarchy, patriarchal conversation. And they're trying to push that narrative. The View was talking about singer and songwriter Lily Allen this week. Uh, she's garnering attention for comments she made on the challenges of balancing a career with motherhood. She says, and I quote, I never really have a strategy when it comes to career, but yes, my children ruined my career. Mm -hmm. Says she chose to step back from her career to focus on raising her kids. So in this clip, uh, the view ladies talk about why um, someone would do that and whether or not that's the case um, with motherhood and career. Take a look. This is clip number three. It's hard. That you're cute and submissive. It's hard. I'm a ch I'm a I am a man repellent. <laughs> it's hard because all I do is go to gay events and drag shows yeah, yeah. and <laughs> anything to make a buck, save a buck. Anything to make a buck. It's hard. A Go question. Ahead, do you think that men are asking themselves this question? No. 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 <laughs> do you, do you, my but husband you are, is. But if you are, uh, uh, my, my kid came before my career, yeah. and I chose my career because I knew this would never happen again. Yeah. So there are, you know, she didn't always like it, but that is the process of being a parent. Yeah. They're not supposed to like everything. And you good. gave her a better life. And I gave her, well, I hope pretty, so. Pretty <laughs> good life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, pretty but, but, but the idea was I never didn't travel with my kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, even when I wasn't famous, you, when we went close. on tour, I, she was, she sat in that theater with me. <laughs> yeah. You know, wherever I went, she went. So it's, it's, it depends on what you're able to do when you're able to do it. Isn't this you know? what well, Hillary Clinton said? It takes a village and they went mm -hmm. after her? Yeah. yeah. Because if you have a family around a child, mm -hmm. they have the support system. Yeah. Yeah. But, I you know, I just want to quote, yeah. um, I want to quote Jackie Kennedy. She said, if you bungle raising your children, I don't think whatever else you do matters very much. All right, so I wanted to kind of talk about the, their response. Um, again, their response to the idea of balancing career and motherhood. Um, can women have it all or is there a balance? What are your thoughts, Shelly? So this question has been a perennial question. I mean, since Eve gave birth in the garden, okay? Um, it's never ending. Can you have it all or can a woman have it all? I would say no. And when I, I say that with humility, in that I understand that some people, we have to work inside the home, outside the home, whatever. But in life, real life, no one can have it all. Mm -hmm. Certainly not all the time. You may have all the birthday cake and then you really don't because you share that. But when, when it comes to children, something's going to give. I, um, there's a law of physics. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So no, and that's just a fact. That's not to put down women. That's not to, to, um, to say that children are not important. You can't have it all. If you work, um, particularly outside the home, um, for an income, then you are going to lose time with your children. If you choose to be a homemaker, then you're going to lose time in the market. That's just a fact. Mm -hmm. I want to get your thoughts on this, Crystal, because what I thought was interesting is these women, every week they're on here and they're pushing independent woman, um, pushing abortion on demand, pushing uh, the idea that, you know, you can be single. They're not really advocates of marriage. And then you have this situation where you're trying to balance career and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and motherhood. Yeah. So aren't they kind of making it more, more harder? for that? Yeah, these women have gotten so used to nobody holding them accountable for their words and they literally talk to people who, if you're watching The View, I'm sorry, you have no brain. Um, because like Wh Wh Whoopi Goldberg literally just, all of them advocated for career and family, which was kind of, she said, she said, oh, I chose my career, but I took my daughter everywhere. 
No, 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 sweetie. You you took your daughter everywhere. You chose your daughter. Like, I just think that they they just say stuff to kind of sound like acceptable. It's almost like, oh, yeah, I like six and I like half a dozen. Like, that's what they're mm -hmm. trying to do because they 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 have no soul. The fact of the matter is, is you can't, as Shelly said, you cannot have everything, whether you're a man or a woman. Like, you cannot. And... Every human being on this planet, if you do not choose family, you are a sad and lonely person. I don't care who tells you anything different. And that conversation should have been done right there. Nothing else to talk about. Okay. I want to get your thoughts on this, T, specifically to when Joy said, um, you know, we don't hear men having this conversation. Uh, you know, so she's trying to say that men don't have to choose motherhood or career. What are your thoughts on that kind of angle uh, that she took there. First of all, she's not a man and no man wants to be near her. So of course she's not going to hear <laughs> men having this conversation. But this is the most, and they try to make it woman independence or whatever, but the, it's the most anti-male, anti-patriarchy, patriarchal conversation. And they're trying to push that narrative that we don't need men. We don't, no man was ever brought up into this conversation. It was career and child. So they didn't mention a man nowhere, a husband anywhere, because I'm surprised that Whoopi even has a child, to be honest, if she didn't adopt. No, like, who would, who would be wife. up in there? Sister girl. Um, so, right. So um, as the only, I think, unmarried mother on the panel, it's an honorable thing to be able to raise your child. I was married and I was a homemaker and my children, when they started school, that's when I was able to get back really just recently about five years ago into what I, what I wanted to go back and do. So, but fortunately I put family first and I put my children first and still do, but I put marriage first. <laughs> like how about that one? First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and the marriage catch. And we're skipping that whole process, mm -hmm. just going from career to women. And there are a lot of women like that. There are a lot of, a lot of women Till this day are single because they chose career first and not children a man and now they're trying to make up for it on the back end and they're too old or men aren't available listening to people like Savannah. right yeah yeah i want to get your thoughts on this yana um just from a perspective of how we have a situation where we we do have a climate where marriage is not valued you know marriage is not even encouraged at the, these days but we do have a lot of motherhood I mean, what, what, how does this dynamic as far as balancing the career and, 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 and motherhood uh, there? Well, one of the, th the things that these women did not mention at all uh, is the children themselves. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk about how the children are being affected by their choices. They talked about themselves mm -hmm. and whether they chose a career or the child and whether the career was ruined. They didn't talk about the kids and how their choices affected them. We have a crisis of children in education. They are struggling. Um, they have all sorts of emotional issues right now, and I can see that every day. Um, and children who, first of all, not from the fam from um, single parent households, they're the ones that are suffering the most. But also, these kids, they go home from school and they don't even see a parent. Mm -hmm. They see a babysitter or, you know, someone just watching some them. Food. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're not interacting with these kids. It's so important for a child to have a constant interaction with someone who cares about them, who can teach them how to be a normal human being. And right now we, we're lacking that. So one of the things that women used to do is have it being that support system, that person that the child can always turn to. And we don't have that. So I think the most important thing, if they care about their kids, they, want, they need to be with their kids. The career, you know, it's going to take the career is different from a job, too. Yes. So having a job, if you have to have a job, mm -hmm. sure, take a job because you need to make money and then, you know, go to your family. Yeah. Career, you have to put your entire being mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. You can't have both. So children will suffer. Yeah. I think, well, I mean, not to get into this, is, this, is, this is in the weeds. Again, um, women, some women will 
have to work, will yeah. work. Not even if they don't have to, they will. Because um, I see five women on this panel, like you said, children, marriage, whatever, and we're working. Yeah, but it's so a, we. I'm, I'm saying we it, we haven't just quote unquote um, made a decision to only do one or the other. We are finding some ways to balance, and I'm saying that totally aware that even in that attempt to balance, that something is still going to be lacking one way or the other. Yeah, but we're in a soulless society where it has nothing to do with the the woman trying to have work because I know a lot of people down the street up North Avenue in Baltimore that stay home all freaking day yeah, because with badass Tyrone and they ain't got no career and Tyrone is still a mess. They have so, they have our taxpayers. Ex exactly. So so what what to me the most important thing is choose to prioritize your child whether you work what, but don't work for some soulless company, as uh, Tucker Carlson says, that makes you try to choose mm -hmm. them and answering their phones and their needs and their board meetings to soothe your own um, insecurities. Choose your family every single time. And that can even be with a job. And when you choose your family or choose your children, or, well, family, but children, since we're speaking about that, we need to remember the difference between maintaining your child and raising your child. Because yes. anybody, you can feed and, and cook for a dog. Yes. But you raise your children to be, as Yana said, productive, right. not even citizens, but just good people. Right. Yes. And so we've, mm -hmm. we we miss that as well. We think we can, oh, I, they get food or they got shelter. Duh, they should. Kids Three hots in the are crack. having problems right now. I'm telling you, they're on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Most of the day, like mm -hmm. and night. Time, oh, I believe yeah. that. <laughs> like literally, li elementary school kids, they're watching stuff that is absolutely not appropriate. And that's for them. China's fault. And <laughs> Yana, I believe you. I see toddlers who know how to work a cell phone better than I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, their little fingers. That's they, China's fault too. Well, that's right. not very it's hard. And the wow. mothers are not there, and that must it's be not. China's fault too. Yeah. Let's just do that. Right. <laughs> it's a day and time because children are entitled. They because parents mm -hmm. coddle them, they're entitled. They don't know how to do anything themselves. They're they're spoiled. They haven't worked for anything because we're like, oh, because we've made it easy. Yeah, we've made it easy for our children. Because parents don't want to be bothered. Also, yes, when you come home tired from your career mm -hmm. and you don't want to be there teaching a kid how to do something, how to, I don't know, even do their homework together because that can take hours. That's not and, that's and, not true when you prioritize right. your family. I don't care how tired you So I'm just you saying, if you're having, if you're putting everything in your career, I cannot imagine that you can go home and then give your all to your child. You're going to say, okay, go play mm -hmm. on your whatever device mm -hmm. because because I need a break. Something's going to give one way or the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Something. And I think we give. have to, we um. Damn, I just. You don't get that. a second chance. You don't get a second chance to raise your children. And so I can think of a thousand excuses that women give every single day as to why they are a sorry, sucky mother. And that and and the the results of that are irreversible. And once we get that through our thick skulls, then maybe we will do different.